Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're not making anything Mexican. We're making pupusas. My cousin made them. She made me crave them. So shout out to Quetzal. But yeah, uh, it's my first time making them. I'm a little nervous because I've never made them before. So fingers crossed. But if you want to learn how to make pupusas my way, just keep watching. Okay guys, so first we're going to start with a curtido. We're going to do about, I want to say one fourth of cabbage and we're gonna shred a really tiny carrot. It's the size of my hand. Okay guys, so now that this is ready, I have already everything mixed in here. It's one cup of hot water, half a cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of oregano, and one full tablespoon of salt. Alrighty guys, so for the meat, I'm gonna use pork shoulder, and it's about two pounds. I'm gonna cut it in squares. gonna cook the meat with salt and pepper to taste on medium heat. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes where I didn't touch it at all. Now I'm gonna flip them. Okay guys, so 20 minutes in and I'm gonna turn it off because it's ready. I'm going to blend it now. It sounds weird, but I promise you, this is how you do it. It's still too hot to blend, so I'm gonna let it cool for a good 10 minutes before I start it up. Okay guys, so for the sauce that goes with the meat, you usually don't cook it, but personally, I think I'll like it better. I'm gonna do 1 fourth of a white onion, a large white onion. I'm gonna do four chile serrano, one full tomato, two garlic cloves, and one chicken bouillon. I'm just gonna cook these for maybe about four minutes. This is done, I cooked it like I said, only for four minutes. And now that that's gonna cool down, I'm gonna start blending the meat. Okay guys, so now that the meat and the sauce are blended out, we're gonna mix them. We're gonna need one fourth of a small onion, one whole tomato, two garlic cloves, salt, and oregano to taste. Okay, so now that this is done, I'm gonna blend it up with half a can of salsa de tomate, which is four ounces. It's a little thicker than what I wanted, so I'm gonna rinse this with water. Just pour it over. Okay guys, so here I have three cups of maseca and I have two cups of water right here. And I'm gonna gradually add them and I'll let you know about the consistency that you want it at. Okay guys, so this is the consistency that you want. You wanna be able to create a ball in your hand without it sticking. And yeah, you'll just feel it. It's like not too sticky, it's not too dry. If it is too dry, it's gonna crack on you whenever you're making the pupusas and you put the filling inside. So now we have a ball, we're gonna have to start, people say tortillando, like making tortillas, which is just side to side on your hand. Alright, you guys, I also have a little bit of water, so if I start feeling it dry, I just put some on my hands and start doing it with water on my hands. But okay, let's start this. So you're gonna put some filling inside. 
I don't want to put too much yet because I don't know exactly how it's going to come out. So I guess here goes nothing. I'm going to start closing it. Okay, and remove the excess masa. No! It's okay, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. My first one was a total fail. It cracked on me. I ended up adding more water, so... Okay, let's try this again. Let me get a little more. It's a lot more moist. I hope it's not too wet. Tortillitas para más, las canitas para papá. I'm gonna sing so I don't get scared. And it doesn't crack on me. Okay. So when you flatten them out, don't leave them super thin because it'll crack on you. So I left it kind of thick, not too thick. Plus, remember, like you're gonna flat it out a little bit more once the filling is inside, so it's gonna thin out a little more. I got my first pupusa! Oh yeah! Oh my god! Gordon Ramsay, who? Okay, so I have this skillet at home. I'm just gonna use this because it's really big. I brushed it with oil and then I'm just gonna put the pupusas in there and see what comes out. Alrighty guys, so here you go. Pupusas and the tomato sauce. Let's try it. I'm so nervous for this. Oh my god. That is totally worth my mental breakdown. Mm. Let's try it with the tomato sauce. And some curtido. Mm -mm -mm. 10 out of 10. My God, I found my new favorite thing. This is so delicious. Alrighty guys, so that is it for today. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more recipes. I'm gonna go to my nutritionist tomorrow. I'm gonna start a diet. So new Mexican healthy recipes. And yeah, do not forget to like and subscribe. Please, please, please check out my friend. Juanita, you can check her out on her Facebook, which is Live de Juanita. I'm gonna probably leave her link down below in the description, as well as all the ingredients and measurements and everything you need to make these amazing pupusas. I really hope you liked it. Bye, guys.